yeah. just curious. What's your like mile time? Recently, it's not that good. Nine minutes. You can't beat that dog. Hell no. <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> This is In Between Bites. We're here with Yoshi T, who's a singer, rapper, songwriter what up, what from up? LA, but he's based in New York. He's been living in New York for a while. Thanks for coming. What's on up? What's up? What's up, guys? <laughs> first thing, first segment, we're gonna play a little game, and it's like okay. based off of your track, F Taste. Okay. So I'm gonna have you just like shut your eyes okay. and have two hands out, okay. and I'll give you two pieces of food, and you'll have to tell me like which is which. Okay. <laughs> I hear, okay, I hear bags on this beautiful day, this beautiful Sunday. You look like you're praying. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I was going to go into a little bit, but I, I actually don't know I how mean, to pray. So. No, oh, really? How do you do, like, Buddhist prayers, though? It's just like, it's like, it's like mantras and chants, you know? Oh, I didn't bring incense. <laughs> Sorry. I feel like this one's very obvious, which is why oh, it's round oh. one. <laughs> okay. What? <laughs> this is round one. You're is this gonna jerky. Yeah. <laughs> what if I'm not? What if I'm vegan? Are you vegan? No. I'm not. Okay. <laughs> okay. This is like. Oh, this is so weird. Is this some mango? Is this just dried mangoes? Well, you can eat it. Oh, I can eat it. Yeah. Oh wait, but oh, that's so crazy. Well, this is round one, so it's easy. I actually have no idea what this is. <laughs> is this very un-Asian of me to not know what this is? Because I have no idea what this is. Okay, this is a mango. <laughs> this is dried mango. <laughs> I, I, what the fuck is this? I have no idea. You don't have any guesses at all. Oh, I don't like it. <laughs> the mango? Or th no, this. What is this? Is this like You're not watching anything, right? Shit? No. Is this like okay. tap, like dried tapioca or something? Dude, I have no idea. I give up. I have no idea. Okay, I'm sorry. you can what open your eyes. Oh, it's coconut. Yeah, it's coconut. Yeah, I'm actually not hip to coconut that much. Okay. So you don't Wow, I feel so stupid. Lola? I feel so dumb. <laughs> okay. Now that my eyes are open, you know, I fuck with coconut. Like, the implicit bias is so here right now. This one's not that hard. I think I'll get it. You need, like, a burger and ramen, and I feel like I'll be able to get it. This is a dried banana. Mm hmm. Oh. Thank you. Yeah, okay. Wow, so that was the easier one. Let's go! <laughs> Come on! This one's gonna be a little bit harder. Okay. Okay, so you can actually open your eyes for this one. Are you sure? Yes. Okay. That's two pieces of chocolate. <laughs> and you have to tell me which one is the dark chocolate and which one is the... Uh, <laughs> I can see it. That's dark chocolate. <laughs> How can you see it? <laughs> This just looks like dark chocolate. Maybe I made the chocolate and I put like food dye in there. It's Trader treat. Joe's on it. <laughs> that's definitely dark chocolate. Okay, yeah, that's dark chocolate. <laughs> okay. that's, not, that's not that hard. That's dark okay, chocolate. Okay, okay. All right. Okay. This is actually the hardest round because it's a trick. Oh. Wait, all right. I feel like I need to. Are they both the same thing? No, they're not the same thing. But you can't open your eyes. You have to tell me what the difference is between these two. I could probably guess right now. One is green and one is purple. <laughs> oh yeah, you got it. And you know what? Can I guess, can I give you a guess right now? This one's green. How do you know that? And this one's purple. Did you open your eyes? I swear I did not open my eyes. Are you? Am I, am I, am like, I, am I right? Yeah, you're right. Because I'm Asian, bro. This shit is like. Only so you have like sensors on your finger pads yes, that tell the you the ones. color of the fruit that you're eating? The musket grapes are like mad firm and they're oh, like yeah, oftentimes a lot bigger. And yeah, this is just a normal grape. Okay. Yeah, I killed that. You did. I killed that. You like earned it back after that. Yeah, first I feel round. like the comeback was real. Yeah, no, it was. The coconut, you know, I'm sorry. You but. made all of the other rounds look dumb. <laughs> and the first one, you're like, what, what yeah. is this? <laughs> Had different shapes. It Objectively, was like different this is the hardest level. You know, and we got some Asians here, you know, were your parents like, never eat fruits until it's washed? Right yeah, now? but like I would wash we're it breaking with the like... rules right now. <laughs> you can use the water. <laughs> <laughs> like... No, it's okay. Wow, you killed it though. I was like, this dude is not going to do well. 
going back to the interview that I ended up turning into an article, and then like I ended up titling it like you were in search for sound that was like truthful to you. Yeah, I, you know, like, the, you, know you, you made all this dumb shit that I say just so deep, and I, I, I appreciate that. Yeah, I mean, if this was an article, I would have written about the grapes. Like, that would have been like the center. Yeah, this is, of yeah, the exactly. You know, this <laughs> is the think piece right here. Can you do the it? The title would have been like, Yoshi T can like feel the difference between green and purple. But then it would like be like an allegory to something else. That was when you're kind of still figuring out how, the, like, what was the essence of your sound. Mm -hmm. And then F Taste blew up. And a lot of people were commenting that you sound like Mac Miller. And yeah. like people have been saying that to you since you're like 15. They were. <clears throat> but like after releasing Sandbox, you're like, well, I kind of feel like I have better understanding of who I am as an artist. Mm. After the release of How to Get Back and still so many comparisons to Mac, does it frustrate you that after both EP releases, like, yeah. you're, like you're still being compared even though, you know, you are finding your sound? I think like the amount of attention it got, like based off of that like narrative, I feel like it was a little just like, oh, the hell but i'm not mad at it. Like, people you know as much as there are people that are like yo fuck this this sucks and this is like corny there's like just as many people that are like oh this is awesome and i think they find the nuance is just like the uniqueness of it so that, that's cool you know and like all i could hope for is just like you know people find the the, un the uniqueness or just like the, the new perspective or just the different production you know that like you know because like if you really compare it like yeah, the music is very different. You know, my voice, okay, I can't do anything about my voice sounding like it. And obviously, like, I take influence from a lot of people, including Mac. Like, the music, like, he never rapped on beats like the shit that I'm rapping on. Or, like, that I'm putting out. Like, objectively, you know? And I don't know if I'm just, like, self-conscious now. Because, like, that's just such a thing. Like, the shit that he was on, like, you know, like, if it can't, if I made it or something. Like, I want to make stuff like that. Like, like production-wise or instrumental-wise. Like, it just, that's just not what speaks to me like the stuff that I put out and the instrumentals that I do go over is like the stuff that really speaks to me and they are different but I think it's just time people will just figure it out in time so it's Mac Miller so it's like he's like one of the greatest yeah so it's like I'm a not compliment even mad. yeah I'm not even fair. mad yeah <laughs> what are yeah. your like expectations right now for the tour do you have any yeah um yeah I mean you know you think of like the worst possible scenario and the best possible scenario like obviously I'm like the opener for all I know, like people could still just be coming in while I'm performing. So I don't really expect much, but just to like learn and then like you know do my best and just have a great time. What are you most like excited about? Like, have you met Bryce Van Allen? No, I haven't met them. Oh. Okay. I'm excited to see them perform. I'm excited to like learn how they perform every night because you know they've done it a bunch. But the main thing is like going to like Boise, you know. I'm trying to go to Boise. Uh, Boise, Idaho, I've been, and it doesn't feel like a real city. It feels like a Hollywood backdrop. Really? Yeah, like my friends and I were there, and we couldn't stop laughing because we literally felt like we were on a set. See, that's cool. I've never heard of that place until, you know, it came up on, on the, <laughs> the, the dates. <laughs> They're touring there? Yeah, we're going to Boise. Wow. Yeah, we're performing at so Boise. So he has, like, a Mormon fan base, and I didn't even know. Yo, like, probably. the Mormons are like, oh, no. yes, Christ. They're like, hoodie. <laughs> Pull up. <laughs> I had no idea, honestly. Did you expect to be like touring nationwide this soon? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Definitely been wanting to do it. Definitely been like, I think we're ready to do this. At least as an opener. I think when it comes to headlining, it's a lot, very different story. You know? And like, how did this like happen? Through, you know, just like the booking, world, touring, kind of, you know, whatever. Mm -hmm. And like, he, Bryce, like DM me was like, yo, let's go on tour. And I was like, yeah, let's do it. What was your like initial reaction when you messaged you then? I was like, let's go, finally. Oh. Yeah, because we've been, you know, we've been like pitching ourselves to just like, you know, oh, let's let us open for this. When you switched from classical to production at SUNY, you said your mom was like emotional about it, and her main yeah. concern was like, is it going to be sustainable? Oh. How does she feel now? I mean, she's just happy I graduated. Mm -hmm. To be real, and then, you know. I'm more open and let her know, like letting her know like what's been going on. I think she feels good about it, you know. But of course I feel like like I don't know. My parents are like the type of Asian parents where like keep it humble, <laughs> you know? 
they're, they're, the they're like you don't know it's gonna work out exactly yeah. exactly you know some parents are like overly supportive and whatnot like my parents aren't mean or like you know like they fuck with what i'm doing they love it they respect it and they like support it but you know they keep it they make sure they humble me you know they're like okay 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 let's just see let's see you know Okay, so this segment is called Palatable Palettes, okay. and in between bites, we'll be auctioning off the artwork created by you, and That's then we'll give half of the proceeds to a community fridge or food bank in New York City nice. of your choice. Nice. Um, so we were kind of just talking about like the ten thousand hour rule and whether mm -hmm. like you know, she feels like he's met that, and you're like, yeah, like clarinet, piano, production, then your own work. Yeah. You've like far exceeded it at this. point. Because this work is something that you love, but you put so much time and effort into it, does it take away the pleasure? I think I, I think I definitely have felt like moments of like just being tired of doing it, but it doesn't take that much time for me apart from it for me to be like okay, like I don't know, it just kind of like reels me back in just because I like I like doing it so much. So I haven't really felt that yet. Maybe when it's Maybe if we see more, you know, when we see more success or like just like that, maybe it'll really be like a real thing. But for now, no. I feel like I'll be tired, so I won't do it for a week. And then like that fifth day, like I'll just catch myself just like on the computer wanting to make something. And like when you're making stuff, also because this is a different question I had, but with why wait? There's somebody speaking like Japanese at the end of the track. Who is mm. it? They're my mom. Oh, what is she saying? Because I don't know. It was like a video of us when we were mad young. And she used to just record us all the time, like film us. And my little brother was like, why are you always filming us? And my mom's like, oh, so like, you know, you, you remember you remember where you've been to, you remember where you come from, like, you know, so you guys don't forget. That's a little what she said. Yeah. It's, pretty, like, it's pretty lit, it's pretty profound. I was like, yeah. damn, you can my mom's a fucking G. <laughs> yeah. How yeah. many, is there like a huge archive of like videos? Of there videos? is, yo, like my grandpa was like a, like yeah, a TV he, director. Right. So like there were always cameras around. So like I found them, we found them a couple of years ago, but like I was actually finally able to look through them. There was like so much footage. It was just like that specific era. Like my grandpa like got like Alzheimer's. So like it was like that era just right before he got it. Like when he was like super healthy and stuff. Um. Yeah, so it's like, you know, I'm like six, four, you know, like those like, you know, single digit ages. Yeah, there's a lot of shit. It's cool. Yeah, it's nice because like you can kind of see that time period through his lens too. Yeah. Whereas now, can exactly, be exactly. Like I'm like, yo, he's a real person. Mm. You know, he's not just like my grandpa. And is that like part of the reason why you want to do like these silly vlogs when you're on tour? Like you just want to look back and be yeah. like, oh, like we like, a burger that day or something yeah exactly we have such a luxury of like capturing so much of what we do and i feel like people like really make it negative sometimes but like on a real like just basic level i feel like it's it's cool because you know like everyone like gets older maybe you have a kid or you know like when you meet a new person you're like hey look look what we were doing when we were young or like just like to reflect on yourself to show other people what's so, usually you know. on your for you page oh though? my god just so, the stupidest <laughs> things it's like it's just actually dumb videos and dog videos barely any music barely it's just my friends <laughs> everything is literally so on music ironically i don't want my shit to be like oh he's like an up-and-coming artist like yeah, you know yeah. <laughs> like we're all up-and-coming artists like literally everyone i know is an up-and-coming artist like mm. hmm. Well, like, since everybody around you is an up-and-coming artist, mm -hmm. do you ever feel like, like, almost like you're in a competition with them? Like, No. Oh, okay. No, I literally never feel any competition. I feel like, oh, that's sick. Like, damn, that was really good. Like, that was really good. Like, instead, you're like, oh, this might be an opportunity for, like, us to work together if you see something like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, usually, that's usually what the conversation always leads to. Like, mm -hmm. oh, your shit is so sick. Like, I'd love to work or something. My really close friends, I'm like, oh, like, we get, we just get, like, pretty, like, we're pretty strict on each other. We're pretty, like, you know, uh, like, critical. We'd be like, oh, that wasn't the best video. Or I don't know if I like that shot. Or the coloring, the color isn't amazing. Or you could have done better. But, you know, yeah. that's not really competitive. It's just more like we see potential because, you know, we've all known each other for so long. Yeah, I feel like having a community like that is really imperative, though, because that means they're being honest with you at all. Oh, yeah. 
I love it. And honestly, like, I grew up on criticism, so, <laughs> yeah. you know, I strive when I hear stuff like that. Like, it makes me be like, okay, like, I hear you, and then, like, I'll check it out and hear what they have to say. And then if I don't agree, then I'm like, fuck it, I don't agree. But sometimes I'm like, oh, that's actually great. Thanks for letting me know, you know? You know what I mean? Did yeah. you grow up on criticism? Yeah. I yeah. think it's better, because then it helps me, like, dial same. in. Same. And I then I won't make the same mistake again. Yes. Yeah. Just that's like normal. Asian parenting. Also. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, or you like learn to just like take it. Yeah. They can like yell at you and be like, "This is like the worst thing I've ever seen." Yeah. And you're like, yeah. "Yeah, maybe it is the worst thing I've ever yeah, seen." Yeah, maybe it is. Yeah, like maybe. it humbles you. Exactly. Yeah. Is there a reason why like your song "Running" isn't on Spotify, but you still have the music video up? Um. Yeah, I don't. I'm not like too in love with the song. Where I'm like, I want it. I want this to live. And like where my discography lives but i like the song and i like the video and that was like a huge turning point because like that was kind of when i started to take the visuals more seriously and like i felt like i could do this i could really believe in myself visually but yeah i don't know i think the song is cool with the running music video i'm yeah. just curious what's your like mild time? recently it's not that good nine minutes but you can't beat that dog Hell no. <laughs> Hell no. Also, it's like I could do nine minutes if I'm running like, if I'm doing like two miles, you know. It's like oh, I've never okay. done more than like a 5K in my life. What was the process for filming Why Wait? Though? That one we had that a treatment. That one was split, so yeah. you did some of the film here in New York yeah. and then some. Yeah. Yeah, we unfortunately lost a lot of Super 8 footage yeah. because we just kind of fucked it up in New York. But yeah, we filmed a day in New York before I was leaving and then... You know, we kind of wanted to just tie it in, do the half and half, and just kind of really make it make sense. I think we did pretty well. Um, yeah, yeah, it was just like friends over here, family over there, you know, stuff like that. That was the narrative I was trying to push. Do you feel that like being in Japan has enhanced your understanding of self or has it made it more confusing? Um, or neither? I think like at like a very bottom level, um, Sometimes just being like a super American, I feel like a little bit is not like fetishizing myself, but like, I don't know, like, like self exotification sometimes. Like it's not a big component. It is a big component. Like it is, it is, you know, like I grew up speaking it, I grew up going, but because I grew up going, it's kind of like, it was always kind of in my DNA. I'm just kind of like with this, with this time around with the music and stuff, I felt like it was, it made sense to kind of showcase that more. But to me, really, I feel like I've always really known myself pretty well as a person, you know. As an artist, I feel like it's different. I watch Japanese TV at home. I watch Japanese movies, Japanese shows, Japanese comedy, all that. Like, I feel like I've grown up being pretty tapped into it always. Um, music too, you know. I'm actually really grateful that I was like given all these tools and I grew up the way I grew up because now I can connect with all these other artists in Japan. Are you planning on wearing your like Yoshi T fit to every performance? You know, with the khakis yeah. and the yeah, 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 yeah. right. Well, you love <laughs> the, the khakis, belt. don't you? Yeah, I mean, like that's what I think of. Like, okay, so in <laughs> um, what khakis. make it out mm. that music video, right? It like cut from like your feet, right? And yeah. it wasn't even like your face. Yeah. And I was like, I already know it's Yoshi because of the oh movie. wow, that's awesome. So like, but like you have to like keep. Dressing like that. Right, I right, feel, right. Yeah, I mean, I dress branding. like that, honestly, every other day except for today, I'm wearing those <laughs> pants. So you caught me on a well, bad day. Well, you're showing the nuance of you. <laughs> yeah, so many slowly, you know, unlocking the, the different. Of, yes, yes. Yeah, yeah, no. <laughs> unlocking the skins. I'm unlocking the skins, okay? You know, I'll probably have like four different outfits that I'll have because, you know, we're going to do the coin laundry. I'm not bringing every single piece of my clothes. So, yeah, I'm, I'm definitely going to be out there with my normal Yoshi T outfit. And actually, just out of curiosity, why do you wear your hoodie like that? Okay, yeah, so I mean, we used to wear it just like on our, like, you know, like a scarf, yeah. like, you know, like during the fall or the spring, just because, yeah, it is hot, but you know, but it's not But I've never seen anybody hot. do that except for you. Okay, so, but the one off, one on, we kind of were like, okay, you know, we're stupid, so we're like, oh, like, you know, this is like the stupidest thing, but like, we're gonna make it cool, but just by doing it, you know, like, so we just wear it like that and it does help actually it's like you know you know everyone Wait, but you say like we're like who else is doing it? it's like cisco, oh me cisco like, oh, okay. jackson elijah elijah actually probably hates it you know 
but he's just like well this is our uniform so i guess i have to yes. obey <laughs> yeah yeah but you know we tried it we were just doing it it's just like just to see what if one day people are like this is the coolest thing that's happening and we're like this is actually so stupid that's funny what was the process of writing the lyrics for how to get back and where do you commonly draw your inspiration what was the timeline for recording um pretty tight i think we were trying to grind to like get the music done um, the writing usually just comes from just like, I usually just like mumble things and then if I like that flow or whatever, I'll just put lyrics to it. So whatever fits it. Of course, of substance, you know, yeah. I want it to make sense and be like a good song. But yeah, mostly it's like, ah, 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 and then like, I'll put lyrics to that. You said you were trying to get this done in a rush though. Do you think that enhanced your work? Like, are this, you better under pressure? This time I think it did. This time I, I definitely have cases where I just completely shut down. Okay. And of course we were taking our time, honestly. Like, we say we rushed it, but we were definitely taking our time. I had, you know, weeks where I didn't work on it and just, like, tried to, like, not think about it. But yeah, I think this time around the pressure was, like, it felt good. It felt like... Why was there was pressure helpful. this time around? What was the difference between this and Sandbox? Um, I just wanted to put something out this year. And like November is like the last chance you could put something out. Of, I feel like, you know, Thanksgiving, winter break. I don't know, the rules, you know. So yeah, we were like, November, we got to put something out by November. And so we were just working on it, you know, all year. I like throw away so many songs, so many ideas that I'm not like, a, we're not like musical geniuses where we, I could just like think of something, think of how I'm feeling and then like create like a, sonic i don't know background backdrop for that feeling so i have to like really just make a bunch of shit and like oh one day oh yeah this is how i'm feeling and this sounds like it you know that's oftentimes what happens so that's why i think it takes a while for me it's nice like how honest you are about the process though and like <laughs> you're like oh yeah i learn like i'm constantly learning and constantly learning. yeah thanks Tell have you ever had the... one no i've never had one okay they're called bontan ame and I guess there's some sort of grapefruit flavor. What was it? Pomelo. Pomelo? Pomelo? Yeah. Pomelo. Pomelo flavor. Um, but they're covered, they're like wrapped in like rice paper. And I don't know why it's, why, but it just is. And you just eat it. And it's really good. So I'm going to eat it. Here, try it. You want to try one? Everyone come. Yeah, everybody. <laughs> you could suck on it, you could just chew it. Whatever you want to do. Who introduced you to this candy? Do you even remember? Or it's like such a childhood memory yeah, I woke that it's, up just, and like, it was it's there. just there. Okay. I woke up and it was there. Yeah. I found out later that it's based in... It's from this uh, prefecture in Japan called Kagoshima, which is like the very bottom of Japan. And... I have like a lot. I have like a lot of family out there. So when I went, they had just OD of this, like, and I was just the happiest fuck. I was eating all this shit. Does anyone bike here? Yeah. Have you ever crossed this bridge and looked into that sugar, the Domino Sugar Building? What's in there? I don't know, but it just looks crazy. It's like the the building, I think they just finished the glass thing on the top. Yeah. Bro, for like most of my life, it's it just looked like an abandoned building. But it looked <laughs> so cool because it was like super open. Right. It's, it was honestly awesome. That's actually where we're shooting the third episode. Really? We're shooting the third episode. Oh. <laughs> I was like, damn, no, there's a bar <laughs> 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 Yeah, 